Okay, guys, it should be audible now. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we're doing RMOP4 now. Okay, so now this one is a standard inequality question. So we'll be solving that. Uh, so here's how you go about it. So first I make the following claim. So this is the claim. Uh, this is uh, if x minus y is equal to c, then x squared plus y squared is, oops, uh, this is x minus y is greater than c, then x squared plus y squared is greater than c squared by two. Uh, and the proof is straightforward. So, and uh, e of c greater than zero. So now the proof is pretty straightforward. So I take this. So I know that this implies that x minus y whole squared is greater than c squared. Okay, because c is again greater than zero. Okay, um, yeah. So now uh, this is because you can take this to the other side. So this is x minus y minus c times x minus y plus c. So now this is sum of positive greater than zero plus greater than zero. And this is greater than zero by the given inequality condition. Okay, so therefore we have this inequality. And therefore we have this inequality. Uh, and now on expanding out this inequality, I have x squared plus y squared minus 2xy greater than c squared. But this is less than x squared plus y squared times 2 because um, x squared, uh, oops, x plus y whole squared is greater than 0, which implies that x squared plus y squared greater than equal to y squared is greater than equal to minus 2 oops, minus two x, y. Okay, so therefore we have this, and uh, this is a greater than equal to, which gives you that x squared plus y squared greater than uh, c squared by two, squared by two. Okay, note that if this is a strict inequality, then this is also a strict inequality, which is kind of going to be important later down the line. Now, let's say that a1 less than a2 less than a3 less than a4. And let's, and we have that for the sake of contradiction. So this is a for this sake of contradiction. And this is a without loss of generality. Uh, yeah, a2 minus a1 whole squared is greater than one by five. Uh, Oops, a3. a3 minus a2 squared is greater than 1 by 5. And a4 minus a3 whole squared is greater than 1 by 5. Okay. Then what you have is that a2 minus a1 is greater than 1 by root 5. This is because this either, because this is, because this either implies that a2 minus a1 is oops greater than 1 by root 5 or less than minus 1 by root 5 and clearly since a2 is greater than a1 this is greater than 0 so it better be greater than 1 by root 5 and so on here and here so this gives you a3 minus a2 greater than 1 by root 5 and this gives you a4 minus a3 greater than 1 by root 5 Okay, and now on adding up all of these inequalities, I have a4 minus a1 is strictly greater than 3 by root 5. Okay, but then by claim, a4 squared plus a1 squared, oops, plus a1 squared is greater than this thing whole square. So 9 by 5 times 2. Okay, this is by claim. Okay. And just from this inequality, we have that uh, a3 minus a2 is greater than 1 by root 5. So we have that by claim. Uh, a2 squared plus a3 squared is greater than 1 by 2 times 5. Okay. So therefore, we have that a1 squared plus a2 squared plus a3 squared plus a4 squared okay this is uh, oops this is greater than 9 by 10 plus 1 by 10 which is 
equal to 1 but we know that this is equal to 1 so we have 1 greater than 1 which is obviously a contradiction okay so yeah it's mainly noticing this sort of claim where this is true and obviously we have the condition that 3 by root 5 is greater than 0 and 1 by root 5 is greater than 0 that's pretty clear to see okay they're positive numbers um yeah and this effectively finishes the question so we're done uh yes that is it thank you